Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. Someone has pointed out to me that Crete is independent. Look at that. And nobody has any claims on him or anything, so why don't we go offer them a loan? Be like, hey, Crete, would you like a loan? Hee hee hee. And they'll be like, yeah, dog, I'd love a loan. And I'd be like, I know you would. Now you're my bitch. The only downside I can see is the Ottomans are probably going to fabricate a claim on, on them eventually. Uh, but maybe we can just sell it to the Ottomans at some point. But for now, I would love to go grab that. Be like, yeah, buddy. Would you like it? He might not even need a loan. Does not need a loan. Oh, well, I don't think he'll take it then. Well, we'll check on him every now and then. But for now, yeah, he don't need no loan. All right, we'll check on him later. It'd be cool. It'd be really, 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 really... Paradox, I know you watch these videos. It'd be really cool if when you go to the nation and you right-click and you say, I want to make this an important special interest nation. It'd be really cool if A, that would add them to the outliner bar over here. There is no section in here for, for uh, what do you want to call it, um, important nations. There's nothing for it. There's no category for it. It'd be cool if you could add them to here, and then you could also select which data you want to see for that nation, just so you can keep track of it without having to go to the ledger all the time. Like maybe you could keep track of uh, who their king and who their heir are, or keep track of, for this guy, I want to know, does he need a loan or not? I, I would love to be able to see that kind of data over here, you know? So I could just not have to check on it manually all the damn time, just have it just passively updating. Anywho. Yeah, the outliner needs a section for important nations. It really does. And uh, England is going to be invading me soon. So I think what we're going to do is get relations up just a little bit. Keep them happy for now. And i um, going to in keep enjoying annexation of Tunisia and uh, converting Meath. We're almost done with our mission to be fully Sunni. This is the last province that needs converting, and it's almost done. Bringing the wisdom of Allah to Ireland. I mean, this is historical, right? Before the potatoes came, there was the Sunni invasion. Very historical. Almost done? Oh, one more month. Alright. Now what do we get for that mission? We get 10 prestige, we get 25 admin, and 25 zippo. That's a really nice uh, reward, actually. Um, so our prestige is now positive, and we can actually up our stability again. Let's do it. Nice. Oh. Cultural shift to Irish. Nope. Enemy of enemy England. Enemy of enemy Castile. The enemy of our enemy is Castile, so they should be our friend. The enemy of our enemy is Castile. Dude. Castile is my enemy. I don't think you understand what's going on here, game. Game. Castile is my enemy, and England is my enemy. That means I cannot enemy of enemy them. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway. I do get the feeling that Castile is going to declare war on Aragon. The Iberian wedding is not going to happen. So he's going to have to declare war on Aragon if he wants any of this land. And he still has one claim. I'm surprised he's not making more claims. Uh, are you going to keep your union? Yes, he is. His union's going to stay intact. So Aragon is holding on to Naples. When can he start integrating? He can start integrating right now. Hmm. What's your relationship with your buddy? Only 122. Oh, he has to get that opinion up a long way. And um, he is not doing any relationship improvement. So Aragon is not trying to integrate Naples. Now, this is one thing that needs work. If a nation has a union over someone or a vassal over someone, they should want to integrate them as soon as possible. Why would they wait? Why would Aragon want to wait to integrate Naples? He can integrate them right now if he had relations at 190, but he doesn't, so he can't. He really should do it because his prestige, you know, it could drop at any time. Anyway, I'm hoping Castile will declare war on Aragon, because that'll get Castile and France into a big old war. That'll be a nice distraction, so I won't have to get involved. Or I, I won't have to do anything special, but I could invade Castile at that point, right? Okay, so what happened? England have accepted peace with Norway. Norway will cede Orkney. Oh, that's it? I was hoping England would take uh, Agder or something like that. 
because sometimes England will take land up here, and then England will become a total major douche over here in Scandinavia, and then that might keep their focus away from Ireland, but it looks like now he's coming for us. Don't do it, England. Don't you do it. He doesn't even have me as a rival. I would have thought he would put me as a rival, but he doesn't seem interested. Maybe because our tech is better than his. Actually, he did just tech up his army. But we're about to tech up as well. Ah, 12% on Tunisia. Still no statesman? Yeah, still no statesman. Damn it. I want a statesman. Keep an eye on Morocco's king. Still not dead. Damn it, Morocco. Yemen just peaced out. Oman took... Look at this. Oman took um, most of the southern coast of Arabia here from Yemen. Ha. Huh. Algeria is getting relations up with us. Good. Yeah, we're still friends with Algeria and the Ottomans. Ah, France hasn't made any effort. Darn it. Yeah, I should work on France again. Here, come back from England. I just want to make sure France is always at the top. It's just Any chance in hell that they ever change to cordial or friendly, I want to immediately have this alliance. Even if it's only a fleeting thought. We actually have more prestige than France right now. That is crazy. Still have these crappy missions. These missions are so terrible. <laughs> Castile has converted Almeria, but not Grenada or uh, Gibraltar. And we look at that. Ireland is indeed green. Green with Sunni. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Okay, we finished our temple in Leinster. Uh, what else can we build? We can build another temple. Do it. The Temple of Meat. Good. Uh, once we're done with temples and... Oh, oh, here we go. Yes. Castile has declared war on... Where's the war declaration? I don't know, but Castile declared war on Aragon, right? No, what happened? What is this? What is this? Frisian... Really? Frisian <laughs> conquest of Utrecht. <laughs> so Fri Friesland, who owns Gelray, Berg, and Friesland, has declared war on Utrecht, which has brought Castile in. But Friesland is allied with France. So France and Castile are at war. It's just a very strange war. And actually, Portugal's going to join on Castile's side. Now, that's something I was not counting on. I was counting on Castile to declare war on Aragon, which would bring Portugal in on Aragon's side against Castile. But no. So this is going to be interesting. Right now, it's France against Castile, but Portugal will join. What a weird war. Yep, there's Portugal. So basically, it's France versus Castile and Portugal, and the other two don't really matter. Hmm. Oh, uh, gain some piety. Well, our piety's at 68. Can we afford that? 18 ducats. We'll wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay it. Two months, we can pay it. Oh, England has joined. England's joined against Castile. Nice! Oh, this could be a good chance. If England and France destroy Castile... We could go siege up our shit. Oh man, that'd be great. Uh, let me see, would Algeria join me in a war against Castile? No, they wouldn't. Oh shit. Why not, Algeria? God damn it. This is such an opportunity and uh, Algeria is like, nah. Oh goodness. So weird. France and England are on the same side of a war against Castile. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. I love it. I wonder if Morocco will use this as an opportunity to get some land back. They should. They really should, because France is going to beat the crap out of Castile. 
Oh, Ottomans are at war again against Riazan. All right. Um, we can give. What do you call it? War subsidies. Even just zero is fine. We can give war subsidies to France and England, actually, and I think I will. Uh, try to keep them off my back a little longer. Okay. France, have zero war subsidies. Enjoy. Okay, we paid our donation. We got our... Um, Piety, yep, 93 piety, very nice. And uh, I'll do England the same thing, because why not? Eng England needs a hug now and then, too. So what can we do for you, France? We're at 100 relations. We've guaranteed you, we're giving you subsidies. We have enemy of enemy. What else can we do? Nothing, really. We could declare war on Castile, that would make him interested. But um, Castile's allied with Portugal and Utrecht. I would have to find a way to get some units down here. You know what? Why don't we move our army... Let's move our army down to um, Brittany. And then at least we can walk through France. We have access through France, so we can at least do that. Here, go relations back up with Algeria in the meantime. Nope, oh, tech up time? Yep, military tech. Nice. Uh, more tactics, more fire, and more fire. Nice. Oh, that also means we can use cannons now? We can build cannons now. Oh my god, build one cannon. Oh man, I, I can't afford it, but I want to build a cannon. Can you imagine Grenada with cannons? Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Grenada with cannons. Costs like 30 ducats. Ugh. Totally worth it, though. Even one cannon makes our army just that much more strong, you know? So Aragon's not in this war. Although they could be. If, if Castile gets weak enough, Aragon will declare war. I think that'll be the time when we should also declare war. In fact, in the peace deal, France may make Castile get rid of his alliance with Portugal, and I think that would be great. How much for a cannon? How much for a cannon? 30 ducats. Alright, we'll save up 30 ducats. I really do want that. Oh man. Give me Morocco's throne! Uh-oh. France is involved in some other damn war now. Now he's at war with the Teutonic Order. Oh, Poland's just going to go and next them. Really? The Teutonic Order is the war leader? Are you kidding me? Poland has just declared war on the Teutonic Order. A one-province miner. A one-province with six base tax and naval supplies. Poland has declared war on them, and their allies include the Livonian Order, Bavaria, and Magdeburg. And for some reason, the Teutons remained the war leader. That makes no sense. Why are you still the war leader? So all Poland has to do is siege one province, and they'll be at 100%, and the war's over. That is crazy. That is just crazy. I'm sorry I'm getting so excited, but that is crazy. Look at France. Well, France already has their capital. <laughs> He's like, well, let's go get their capital. Haha, <laughs> war's over. Yeah. France is kicking butt. Castile's at uh, negative... Only at plus one, really? Plus one. Oh, it doesn't matter. You track this falling. Who are the war leaders? Uh, Castile and... Friesland. Okay, so so long as Friesland doesn't get conquered, they're going to keep the war going, yeah. However, Friesland could piece Castile out really early. That's up to Friesland. Castile is destroying England's navy over here. Whoa. Castile, oh, and Portugal, right, are destroying England's navy. Is that all England has? 30 ships? Really? England, yeah, that's England's entire navy. Really? 
Could I possibly invade England right now? Well, how many units do you have, England? England has 18 units. I have 10. Oh, I can build my cannon now. Oh, next month. I am like a kid in a candy shop. This war right here is just so crazy. I love it. I'm anxious to see what happens here. We max relations with Algeria. Let's go back to the Ottomans. No, they're pretty good. Go back to France. No, they're pretty good. Still hasn't died yet. Darn it. Maybe we can get relations up with someone else like Aragon. Yeah, get relations up with Aragon. Does he have Scottish Revolt Risk up here? Nope. No Revolt Risk. Damn it. Why not? Really? He's not even using Harsh Treatment. He just doesn't have any Revolt Risk. Wow. Oh, come on, Morocco. I just want you to die a little. That's that's all. Just a little. And yeah, England's navy is getting wrecked. They have no navy left. They're done. They're dead. D-E-D -E dead. You know what? Let me get one more cannon. Just for lulls. Actually, I only have two cav. Um, do I want one more cav or one more cannon? Uh, that extra shock might be really nice. Yeah, we'll go for one more cav. The early cannons are not that good, but they do have fire, you know? Ooh. It's kind of weird seeing Friesland as the war leader, because it means that they could piece England out whenever they want. England's ca I mean, not England, Castile. Castile's capital has already fallen, so Friesland could choose to piece out Castile. But they're losing. How are they losing this war? Oh, is it naval battles? It's got to be naval battles. Uh, this one. What is causing it? Let's see. They're losing. No, battles are only minus three. Oh, it's because the defender controls the target province you tracked. But it's being sieged, right? No, it's not being sieged. Really? Oh, Munster's in the war, and Munster... It looks like Munster killed Friesland's army. Oh my goodness, Friesland is going to get fucked. This is so crazy. So because France has no access over here, they can't help Friesland. All they can do is fight Castile, which they're doing very well. But they can't actually help Friesland, and if Friesland loses his capital, he could just surrender. He's losing the war, even though France is helping him. That's so weird. All right, finish up little cavalry dude. On the boat you go. Okay, we have 12 soldiers. We're still making a little bit of money. Man, I would love to do this. How many units does Castile have? I think that's what I'm going to base my decision on, is how many units does Castile have? Because Brittany's going to help us with their 8K, right? Castile still has 28 units, but he has no manpower. What about Portugal? Portugal? Did I miss them? No? Uh-oh. Sort by name. Where's, where's Portugal's army? Portugal has four dudes. Oh my goodness, Portugal has lost a lot of dudes. Ooh. Oh, this could be amazingly good. Should see if Crete wants a, a loan right about now. Uh, we almost done there? Yeah, it's good enough. Let's go check on Crete. I can't believe Friesland is having such trouble with Utrecht. That is crazy. 
But it does mean the war will drag on. Okay, Crete, you want just like a loan, please? Um, does not need a loan. Nope, he does not need a loan. Damn it. It'd be cool if you could check that without having a diplomat available, but you can't. So, um, war subsidies again. I don't know why the war subsidies just keep disappearing, but they do. Oh, they only last one year, that's why. Oh, actually, we're, we're really close. If we get a statesman, he might take an alliance. Ooh. If we get a statesman, he might take an alliance. And most of that is due to our high legitimacy. Ooh. Statesman. Statesman. I want a statesman. Can you imagine that? All I need is a statesman. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, um, get relations up with Portugal. Just temporary. I don't see him as a long-time partner, but temporary. Papal revolutionaries. The Pope has revolutionary. He can never flip out of a theocracy, but it'd be amusing if he could. Like, the Papal Kingdom, the Papal Republic, you know, whatever. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, piety. Let's see, what's being sieged? Castilla la Vieja. None of my lands. No, just just Castilla la Vieja. All right. He's probably chasing around Castile's armies because there's only uh, six, 7,000 guys in that province. So he's probably chasing around Castile's armies. Oh, man. I need a statesman so bad. No, you can't get a marriage. It's all religion. We could marry him if they were Sunni or Shiites, but not for Christians. Hmm. Oh, man, we're at negative four. A statesman would do it. Oh, negative six now. All I need is a statesman. Oh, negative four. A statesman would do it. A statesman would do it. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a breakdown if I don't get a statesman. Negative three. We're so close. Actually, it might just drop naturally. His, um, the strength of his army and navy might just drop naturally while he's at war. We might not even need a statesman here. If that negative four turns into a positive one, we can do it. Oh, man. This is nerve-wracking. This is nerve-wracking. Negative three. Oh, come on, France. You can do it. Negative seven. Oh, shit. Something, cha something changed. It went to negative seven. <laughs> uh, we could bump his opinion up a bit. Why don't we do that? Go back and bump it. It'd be cool if he would want access, but he doesn't. Because we're on an island in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes the AI just wants access for everyone for some reason. Look how, many, look how much access he has. Look at this. Crazy amounts of access. But he, did, he doesn't want it from me for some reason. Because we're on a freaking island. Yeah, now it's negative 10. Damn it, we might have missed the boat. Something changed where he was just really weak for a bit there, and now he's not anymore. And yeah, still can't do Morocco's throne. Castile has completed the mission to continue the Reconquista. I think that means they've cored. Yeah, he cored one of the provinces, so that counts as continuing the Reconquista. But I don't care if he cores. I want him to... Oh, wow. Oh, he's actually invading... No, he's not invading France. Where? What is France doing? France is not sieging a damn thing. So what are you doing, France? What is Friesland doing? Friesland is still losing this war somehow. Why are you at war with Trier? What is this? Oh, that's one of the Austria's wars, yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on all these troop counts. I'm really curious about all this crap. Where's England? England, 22. Okay. Uh-oh, France, 27. Castile, 27. But, because oh, wow, neither of them have any manpower. Wow. No manpower at all. Such a weird, weird war. Yeah, statesmen won't do it anymore. Oh. 
The year has gone by, and I need to give him more fake subsidies. Man, time is just flying. More fake subsidies. Enjoy. We'll do the same thing with England, because we can. I don't know why that works. It really shouldn't. The fake subsidies thing. Anyway, get relations up with England. <gasps> France is at 50 out of 50? Uh, come back from England. France is at 50 out of 50. Just the slightest nudge in our direction. I'll send him a gift. I'll send him a gift. Slightest nudge in our direction will get an alliance. Send him a gift. Send him a gift. Send him a gift. Send him a gift. Uh, give, me my, give me my diplomat back. Oh, shit, it's 52 now. Fuck. <laughs> For one second there, it was 50 out of 50. Oh, a gift of 25 gold only gives an opinion of one. That's worthless. Oh, I just need a statesman. God damn it, France, give me a statesman. Oh, my God, he went down to 50 out of 50 again. Oh, drop to 49, drop to 49, drop to 49. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, check mark. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to end right here. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. We have an alliance with France. Woohoo! And there are French peasants. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.